Absolutely. So what do you think that the steps are that the founders should be taking as they're going through this experience themselves, but looking forward to, to the time where they might be bringing on those next people? Yeah, it's a great question. I, I think it comes down to kind of like the, uh, you know, a couple of recipes. Number one is selling the quota that you want your salespeople to sell. That's first and foremost. Um, I think that's a really great proxy for the first salespeople that are, who are looking at uh, a startup for the first time or haven't been in the game or they're setting up something for the first time to understand, well, how am I going to be able to resell repeatedly? Um, second, it's also to kind of like do the, the ramp ups to say, okay, for the first quarter or two, this person may not be up to speed yet. Um, so when we think about a target, what is realistic? Uh, and then three, I, I think is really around the, the, the time and length that it takes. Often a founder will say, okay, it's six months to sell and we're going to get down to three. Well, let's show it in a couple of deals. May not all the deals, but all, a, a few of the deals that we can get a little bit more repeatable in that process itself. Um, I, I think founders often, like I said, they have that fallacy of just like, we're going to hire these people, they're going to come in and then your SDRs are, 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 are having to kind of requalify people because you're not hitting the specific um, three month goal allotment of closing a deal because this might be an enterprise deal or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I think having the right goalposts in mind of what, uh, what a company is, what its ideal target is, being able to go through the motions and start to create a little bit of a sales playbook is actually really important. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that one of the pieces kind of within that greater playbook that you emphasize is the, the softer side, like the more, um, I, I guess the, the soft skills that are associated with that, as opposed to the kind of hard, hard pieces that you put in place. So what do you think the founder can be doing to sort of, I guess, empower that sort of, uh, softer side of the, of the process? Yeah, I, I'm a big philosophy. I, I have a big philosophy around, uh, creating vulnerability. Um, that is really important. Um, you know, I think vulnerability between a founder and a sales team and um, the, the, the collective group and the clients that you're ultimately trying to pitch and ultimately secure. Um, I, I remember there's a, a very distinct story that I had at Careerify, which was my first customer, which was on the stage of going from eight, eight, 60 days, 30 days, and eight days of going bankruptcy. Uh, I was selling a recruiting software and I called her because she was in HR and I was like, Hey, like I'm about to like lay off all my employees uh, and go bankrupt. Like, how do I kind of do this here in HR? And, um, you know, normally what she had felt when she would, uh, you know, uh, you know, be approached by, by, uh, by prospects and vendors was, Hey, I'm trying to give value proposition, sell, sell, sell. And here I'm showing a little bit more of a human side. I'm not even asking her to buy something, even though I pitched mm -hmm. her for two years prior to that, it was really a man like um, uh, creating a human bond and showing vulnerability of like, hey, I just wanna learn and I, I'm trying to do something different. And what, what that ended up happening was on the phone call, she was like, hold on, uh, two minutes of painful, like awkward silence. She was like, go check your inbox. And sure enough, that was uh, a contract for, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, that, which saved us from that bankruptcy of eight days to then eventually, you know, getting a couple months of uh, a month of runway and then eventually a couple months of runway. Um, so I, I think, you know, when, when, you, when you think about vulnerability in the software side, um, I think the founder and the, the sales team should have um, a, a very transparent conversation where it's like, okay, well, here are the accounts. Um, this is the, the challenges we're having. How do we unblock this and, and really get the founder to be kind of like a 10 X multiplier and to, to figure out the repeatability of what she or he are, are respectively doing when they're coming into a deal to then try to unlock that. Um, and then on the other side to kind of broach to the, to the prospects for, you know, that you're trying to sell to, to, to ultimately be like, Hey, this is my first time, you know, trying to build out a sales process uh, and showing that little bit of more vulnerability. Um, the prospects actually they, they appreciate it. We're humans, right? We 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 want to have that ability where we're not showing this iron guard or, or, across everything. Uh, and, and I think that for us at least, that 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 provided that aspect of the software side of of the human ability of both internal and external saved a lot. And uh, it, it was actually one of the biggest factors in growing our company by, you know, zero to, to 5 million ARR in like less than 18 months.